hello and welcome to my youtube channel information technology in this tutorial i'm going to show you some shortcuts that you can use in microsoft word the word shortcuts that i'm going to show you today are very important and they speed up your work a lot so without wasting any time let's get started before starting the tutorial let me just get a copy of this document so i have the original one untouched with me so our first shortcut for today is uh, control n we use the control n to um, make a new word document instead of going to file and then pressing new choosing a uh, type of the document uh, we can simply press the control n key in our keyboard to bring a new word document our second shortcut key is the control o the control o shortcut key is used to open a document for example i'm opening a file which is called grammar so that for that instead of going to file and then going to open menu we can press the control o and then select a file that we have already saved the third shortcut that i have for you today is control s the control s shortcut key is used to save a file in the microsoft word we use this shortcut key in many other applications as well we use it in excel we use it when we want to save a draft of our email and many other software as well for example i'm writing some sentences in here welcome to information technology if i want to save this file i would go to the file menu and then i'm going to press on save but i can also use a shortcut key which is control s so the shortcut key control s is used to save a file our next shortcut is control p the control p shortcut is used to take us to the print menu the control p shortcut is very useful to save your time you can use the control plus p shortcut to go directly to the print menu this takes us to our next shortcut which is alt plus f plus h the alt plus f plus h shortcut takes us to the share menu and here we can share our documents with people we can send it through email we can share it through email and there are other options that you can do please play with this shortcut and see what it does the next shortcut we are going to talk about is alt plus f plus e this shortcut takes us to the export menu from here we can export our document to export our document to a pdf file or to change the type of our file we can use we can use this shortcut our second shortcut is control x the control x shortcut is used to cut something and control v is used to paste something while control c is used to copy something the difference between control c and control x is that control c is copying a selected part of a sentence while the control x is cutting that part of a selected sentence to copy a specific format we can use the control plus shift plus c and to paste that specific format we use the control plus shift plus v this sentence now has the format of the uh, sentence which is above i just copied the format of the above sentence and then i pasted the format on the below sentence if i want to delete part of a sentence first of all i will select that part and then i will press the delete button if i want to bring the deleted part back i will press the control z button i can press the control y button to go back to the previous changes i made to open the font windows i can press the control plus shift plus f shortcut 
from the font windows i can change the type of text i can make it bold i can make it italic and i can do any other changes that i wish to do we use the shortcut Control plus b to make a text bold while the Control plus i is used to italicize the selected text as you can see in the sentences which i just italicized we are coming to our next shortcut key, which is Control F. For example, I have some sentences in here where I want to find the word information. For this case, I'm going to press the shortcut key Control plus F. And after that, I'm going to write the words that I want to look for. In this case, it's information. It will highlight all the words that I am looking for. So, the control plus F is used to find specific words in the document. If we want to replace one word with another word, we can use the shortcut key which is control plus H. Let's say an example here. In these sentences which says welcome to information technology, I want to replace the word technology with another word so i will press the control h button and then in the first box i'm going to write the word technology in the second box i'm going to write tech and then i will press the replace button and then i'm going to press again and again and again i can i can do it one by one or i can do all of them at once this can be very handy, especially when you have a long document and you want to replace a lot of words with other words. The next shortcut key is Control G. Let's say we have a lot of pages in here and I want to go from one page to another. In this case, I can press the Control G button and then I can put a number for example I want to go to the second page I can put two if I want to select all the text in this document I will press the control a key so the control a key is used to select all text in the document to close a word document or any other program we can use the shortcut key alt plus f4 here I'm going to press the cancel button because I don't want to close this document as I want to continue with the tutorial. To insert a table into our Word document, we can use the shortcut key Alt plus N plus T. And then we can choose how many rows we want and how many columns we want. If I want to insert a picture into this document, I can use the shortcut key Alt plus N plus P. This shortcut is used to insert a picture into MS Word document. To insert smart art into the Word document, we can use the shortcut key that is Alt plus N plus M. And then we can choose the different types of smart art and we can change the text as we wish. Our next shortcut key is R plus N plus C. This shortcut is used to insert a chart into MS Word document. In here we can choose different types of charts. For example, I select this and then I press OK and it will insert a chart for me in the Word document. So this is very useful. Our next shortcut key requires us to get connected to the internet. So let, let me get connected and then I'm going to show you how to use the next shortcut key. So our next shortcut key is Control plus K. The Control plus K shortcut is used to give hyperlink to a certain text. And here let me search about information technology and then I'm going to press on the first link that says information technology let me copy the hyperlink from there and then I'm coming here to my word document 
where I will give hyperlink to the words that says information tech. So if the user click on information tech, it should take them to the Wikipedia website where they can get more information about the information technology topic. To insert a header into our Word document, we can use the shortcut key that is R plus N plus H. In here, I want to put the header as Information Technology. As you can see, it put Information Technology as the header. So it should be repeated in every single page. Now, if I want to insert footer into my word document which shortcut key should i use for this case i can use the alt plus n plus o to insert a footer into my document and here i'm just gonna put copy right as the footer here you can see the header in the footer is repeated in every single page to insert time and date into our word document we can use the shortcut key that is alt plus n plus d this shortcut takes us to a new window from there we can choose the format of the time and date that we want to insert into our document to insert a symbol into our word document we can use the shortcut alt plus n plus u and then we can choose the type of symbol that we want to insert to our document in order to insert watermark into our word document we can use the shortcut key alt plus g plus p plus w and then from there we can choose the type of watermark that we want to insert into our word document our next shortcut key is alt plus g plus p plus b which inserts a page border into our word document as you can see here there is different types of border that we can insert into our page so we choose our type of border and press ok and the other shortcut key is alt plus g plus p plus c which inserts a color into our word document for example from here we can choose the different types of colors that we like to apply the page margin setting into our word document we can use the shortcut r plus p plus m from there we can choose the different types of page margins that we like for page orientation we can use the shortcut key alt plus p plus Oh. To apply different page sizes, we can use the shortcut key Alt plus P plus S plus Z. From there, we can choose the different types of the page, like letter, A4, and other options. To zoom in and out, we can use the shortcut key Alt plus W plus Q. From there, we can use 200 to zoom in. We can also use the slider to zoom in and out. Let's go to our next shortcut, which is F7. The F7 shortcut is used for checking the spelling and grammar. I have some words here that have mistakes. They have spelling mistakes or grammar mistakes. And I want the word application to find these uh, spelling and grammar mistakes for me. To check for spelling and grammar mistakes, we can press the F7 button. Then I can go to the right side and replace them with the correct words. It takes us to our next shortcut, which is Alt plus P plus J. It opens up a drop-down menu which allows us to divide our documents into, into different columns. As you can see, our word document is now divided into two columns. I can use the left columns and then I can use on the right column. Our next shortcut is Alt plus W plus F, which takes us to the reading mode. 
To go back to the print layout, we can use R plus W plus P. In order to go to the web layout, we can use the shortcut key that is Alt plus W plus L. So this is how our text will look on the web page. Aim to see our text as an outline view, we can use the shortcut key that is R plus W plus U. And this is how our text will look in the outline view. And to view our text as a draft view, we can use R plus W plus E. To turn on and off the ruler in the Word document, we can use the shortcut key R plus W plus R. If I want to see the grid line in the Word document, I can press the R plus W plus G. And to turn off the grid lines, I can use the same shortcut again. To underline a word or a sentence, we can select that sentence and then press Ctrl U which will underline the selected text for us. And to strike through a selected text, we can use the shortcut key that is Alt plus H plus 4. As you can see in this example. Okay guys, we just have a couple of more shortcuts to show and then that will be it. The Ctrl plus R shortcut key is used for right alignment and the Ctrl plus E shortcut key is used for center alignment while Ctrl plus L is used to left alignment and the Ctrl plus J is used to justify the alignment. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and I will try to upload more related videos. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them under this video and I will try to answer to all of them. So thank you so much again and have a good day.